So guys, today we'll be creating local repository for YUM Packet Manager on Red Hat Linux system. Before creating local repository, a question comes in our mind that what is the need of a local repository when we can install packages from internet? So the thing is that installing packages from internet requires more time compared to local repository on internal network. And installing packages on the more number of nodes, let's say for a Hadoop cluster, we need to install few packages which are repeated over lots of nodes. To install these packages, we have to repeatedly download the packages from the internet, which slows down the internet due to high bandwidth consumption, hence taking more time for installation. So to create a local repository, we'll use yumutils and create repo package. We'll use the reposing command to create local repositories of base, updates, extra, CentOS plus and APL. After that, we'll use the create repo command uh, to create the repo data. That is a list of the RPM files available in the repository. And obviously to sync the yum repository, we'll create a dot repo file. Uh, so that yum recognize where is the location of the local repository. Before continuing with creating the local repository, we have to disable IP tables in SA Linux. And we need a working web server so that local repository is available over it on the web server. To create the local repository, we'll begin by installing the yum utils package and the create repo package. You see the download size is 1.3 MB and the packages have been listed here. So as you can see the installation is over. It has few dependencies on it. Now I create a local repository directory that is local CentOS 6 as I have local CentOS 6 on my current system. I'll go to the directory and I'll be downloading the repos in this directory right now. As you can see that the packages were installed from internet. To sync this package from internet, there's a dot .repo file in etc slash yum dot repos dot d. Uh, you can see that if I open the file sent to us base that repo, you can see that there are different repositories here, namely base, updates, extras, sent to us plus. To sync I mean sync or let's say make a local repository, we will use the reposync command and I'll pass the repo id equal to base. So as you see my first repository was base and I'll use no hub so that the download of the repository goes in background. If I use the tail command you can see that the download has begun. You can see that it's syncing all the packages in the base repository. Along with syncing the base, I would link the updates and I would sync extras and I would sync the CentOS Plus and the country repository. If I ls into the directory, you can see that the sync of the base into us plus extras and updates repository has started. Along with the other repositories, I would be creating a local repository for EPL2. For that, I initially I'll have to install the EPL-release repository. As you can see, on ins after installation, EPL.repo has come to the yum.repos.d folder. You can see in the start that there's an EPL repository. To sync the repository, I'll again use the reposync command and I'll give the repo ID as EPL. As you see, the EPL directory has been created here. If I see the nohub.out file, you can see that the package downloads have started. I'll wait for these downloads to get over. To see the status of my download, I can use ps-af and as you can see, the sync of base updates, centers and EPL are still not completed. Uh, once the synchronization has completed, this process will end by itself. I have skipped the video for an hour and 
as you can see that the download has be over as the no hub is not being updated all the packages have been downloaded and if i see the direct content of each directory you can see that uh, the packages have downloaded if i see the content of the base directory you can see that the package folder is there here similarly in centos plus also the packages directory is there similarly in all the other folders a similar listing would be there i would delete the no hub out file as it's no longer necessary i would create a repo folder in the wired wwhtml directory to list the repos on the web server so in the repo folder i will create a centos directory centos 6 namely so that i know that this is a repository for centos 6 i'll move all the directories uh, namely base centos plus epl extras and updates to centos 6 folder and if i go into the directory and if i ls into the folder you can see that all the repositories are there so downloading all the packages of the repositories we need to create an index file of all the rpm packages available in the directory for this we'll use the create report command along with the name of the directory of the repository as a parameter in the create repo command namely here we have used base repository as the parameter in the create repo command as you can see the list of the, all the rpm packages in the base directory is being created i'll fast forward the video so that i skipped the creation of the list of the packages it really takes a lot of time as it has to list a huge number of packages as you see the listing of packages is over and the list has been created. Parallelly, I would be creating the, the repo list of CentOS Plus, EPL, Extras, and updates in a single command that's by using semicolon. As you see, the creation of repo data of the CentOS Plus repository has begun. Once it is complete, the creation of repo data of EPL repository begins. Once creation of repo data of EPL is over, it begins to create the repo data of the extras repository. You see an error has occurred as the command was not found. Uh, so the updates could not be synced. I've rectified the create repo command of the updates and the creation of repo data of updates repository has begun. Once creation of the repo data of the update repository is over, we can see that there is a repo data folder in each and every folder which has a list of all the packages, RPM packages available in the package directory. Once creation of repo data for all the repositories is over, we go to the etcm.repos.d directory and we go to centosbus.repo and as you can see, as you can see a web URL is given for it to sync from a web server on the internet. We have to update this URL to the local repository URL which we have created. For this I'll start my web server and go to my local repository's web server. As you can see all the folders were listed here. Now if I see my CentOS base repo file, you can see that for each and every repository, there is a mirror list URL which is synced with a server on the web. As you can see, I have copied the entries of the base, updates, extras and CentOS plus repository. And I'll paste it in a new file called local CentOS 6 repo. I'll even copy the entry of the EPL repo and I'll paste it in the local CentOS 6 repo file which I've created. Now I'll edit the base repository's URL with my local repository's web URL. I'll copy the web URL of my base repository and replace it with, with the base URL here. So as you can see, I'm putting the base URL of my base directory 
and I'll just keep three parameters that is name, base URL, and jpg check equal to zero so that it doesn't check for any jpg key. And you see, I've removed all the entries here except name, base, and jpg check. Now modify it to zero. I'll replace the base URL of updates with the web URL of the updates folder here. Simultaneously, I'll do it for extras, CentOS Plus, and EPL. After performing the changes to local CentOS 6, I'll save it. For my YUM repository manager, to sync with my web server and not the internet server, I'll create a back directory and I'll move all the repo files to the back directory. I'll move back my CentOS 6.repo file to my yum.repository folder from back. And as you can see, if I use the yumlist command, all the packages from my local web server are being listed. I'll copy the local CentOS 6.repo file to my repository folder on the bar wwhtml CentOS 6 folder so that anyone can download it from the web server and use it for syncing with my local repository. So guys, this was the end of the tutorial. Hope you liked it. Please let me know if you have any sort of suggestions regarding the video, regarding any improvements which you need, regarding any explanations which you would like to know. And be sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the Amazing Admins channel.